Welcome back to you Caffeine Confessionals. We are here again for another Espresso Shot Double Agents player preview. This time it's five things you need to know about Mr. Darrell Taylor. Number one, in terms of basic stats, Darrell is 41 years old, 5'11", around 200 pounds, has competed on eight seasons of the challenge, is a four-time finalist who has won four times, which is Gauntlet 1, Inferno 1, Inferno 2, and Fresh Meat 1. He also holds a career 5-2 and two elimination record. Number two, at 41 years old, Darrell is the oldest player in challenge history. He breaks the records of Ronico Portillo and Mark Wong, and it's kind of crazy because even though he is 41, he's still a major contender to win this season. Number three, Darrell owns his own gym known as Pound for Pound Fitness, and he works as a personal trainer. So fitness is his life. He meal preps, he works out hard, he gives his body in tip-top shape. No wonder why he looks so good at 41. Four. Darrell plans to align with the Young Bucks this season. That comes as a bit of a surprise to fans as Corey had his hit list, which included veterans like Darrell on Dirty 30. However, Nelson, Corey, and Darrell created a, you know, a uncle to like nephew type bond on Invasion of the Champions. Add in the fact that he gained a lot of respect from Nelson after they had that intense elimination on Vendettas. Also, it's a bit easy for Darrell since he knows he could beat those two in a final, so he definitely should align with them from that perspective. Uh, he's friends with CT, he's known him for a long time, done some seasons back in the day with Anissa, spent time in the Redemption House with Devin on Dirty 30, and the elephant in the room for Darrell is the fact that Wes is there, because those two have had a rivalry for a long time, but I think they need to align because <laughs> they are the two biggest threats in the game. From Darrell being a four-time champ to Wes just being a master manipulator, they are two big threats and they maybe need to put their powers together at least for the time being. Number five, in terms of strengths and weaknesses, Darrell's strengths are obviously his physicality and his cardio. When it comes to physicality, Darrell is a former Golden Gloves boxer and thus knows how to move his feet, move his body, and can really put in a pounding on someone. I mean, just ask Pratt. For cardio, no one can keep up with Darrell in a final except for maybe a Jordan or Landon type. Just running wise, he can go for long distances at a fast pace. His weaknesses are swimming, puzzles, heights, and flexibility and those are all self-admitted weaknesses however he's better than the worst person at, the, at those categories so Darrell's worst categories are still pretty average compared to someone who is a bottom tier player can Darrell win I think so I mean Johnny Bananas won last season and Darrell can run at a faster pace than Johnny Bananas and the cast this season actually looks a little bit weaker than last season's when it comes to the male side so definitely it's just a matter of getting there, and it's whether he has the social connections to take him far, because he will be a big target in the game. And as I mentioned, if he and West feud, it's only going to be problems for Darrell. They maybe need to get on the same page. Like, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.